My name is uh, Aina Rihonson. I'm a race director of Ironman Tallinn, Ironman 70.3 Tallinn. Tallinn is located in a perfect uh, place because uh, it's easy to travel from east, south and west. And historically, this has been really a hub of Hanseatic roads. And the um, city itself is really nicely located by the sea. So it's comfortable and it's easy for athletes and, and perfect place to, to host the events. Estonian um, uh, way, Tallinn is a big city, but in a worldwide uh, uh, scale, Tallinn is a nice and comfortable city with 500,000 people living over here. But um, Tallinn is built up in a way that the center is with the old town, which is incredibly nice. It's quite small and, and very comfortable. And then the suburbs are outside of the city center. And we are here having an event in the center of the city, which is not very uh, usual for Ironman events. And it's important to understand that Tallinn is a second capital in, a, in a Europe where we host the Ironman events. So racing here and spending a vacation uh, here in Tallinn really fulfills the full package. Athletes will get a great event and supporters will have an opportunity to to see the Hanseatic city and, and, and really uh, look around. For well, race course uh, in Ireland Tallinn uh, is, in, is, is very unique in a way. We, our race center is actually in a, by the sea and in a, in a really nice harbor in Mini Sadam and Lenusadam. Swimming in a seaplane harbor here is, is really nice, but it can be uh, quite cold if wind, wind is turning and, and the warm water was, has been blown away. And therefore, was the second option is Lake Harku, which is much, much safer and, and a better place to, to swim in this, this point. So far, we've had, we have been swimming mostly in the Lake Harku, but uh, we still keep the opportunity available if it arises that we can swim here in the Lenus Adam as well. And uh, the, the bike course is designed in a way, in a way that uh, we involve different scenarios or different surroundings. Uh, would you have a nice coastal roads? Would you have um, uh, nice flats uh, and openings and a nice small roads in a, in a countryside? And we also have a nice little communities and villages where we go by, like Lagri and, and Vana. And uh, we also design the bike course in a way that um, we minimized out and back uh, spots on our places in a bike course so people really can comfortably uh, concentrate on a, on a one-way traffic on a, on a bike course and there is a more room and, and it's more relaxed in a way that it's not crowded or busy. And then after entering a T2 in the Lenus Adamo Seaplane Harbor, the run course starts and the run course is really spectacular. Flat or flattish uh, run course with just little hills which uh, is, which are not hard for anybody. But the way it's built up, it's on a light traffic road, center of city, which is really well spectatable. And uh, you can, if, if you have spectators or, or the relatives here in, in a race center in Noblesner, it's really easy to see almost a half of the run course, just maybe walking a few hundred meters. The, the runners will, will be viewable at least four or eight times in, in, a, in Ironman distance and four times on Ironman 70.3 distance. So it is well spectatable. And for athletes, um, on top of this area over here, the runners will run basically in the center of town, nearby Viro Hotel, where they do a turnaround and then run around our old town, which, uh, which has incredible views of our medieval uh, old town uh, houses and, and castles. We, we, we have listened our athletes who are spoken from last year that they don't like the cobblestones, so we changed the run course for that. And um, we see that the run course and bike course and, and, and courses themselves are really quick. I think uh, it's, a, it's a good place and, and, and really nice place uh, to do your personal best in, a, in, a, in Ironman distance or Ironman, Ironman 70.3 distances. So, there is a lot of values on our courses, which uh, should be um, uh, something what uh, all athletes would like to do. Ironman Tallinn represents a bike course or, and a course which we can describe from nature to city. 
So on top of really having a race center and everything in the middle of the city, you still feel and experience a beautiful countryside. So the mixture between two is something you don't have anywhere in the world. I would say Ironman Tallinn or, or Ironman itself is, is something or is an experience which will last a lifetime. It will lift person for the next period of the life after finishing the first Ironman because it gives such a self-belief and energy and such emotions which, uh, which will help you in any way or any place what you're going to do in the rest of your life. So uh, I think uh, the model what Ironman describes, anything is possible, is actually saying everything. You finish Ironman, you overcome your challenges, you, you prove yourself and everybody else that you are much more capable than anybody will think of you. And in Tallinn, we do truly believe that uh, when athletes, they come to Estonia and, and race in Tallinn, they will feel that the race and the organization is made for athletes and from athletes. So our team is really focusing to make sure that all our athletes are feeling welcomed and, and homey and, and, and really appreciate that. And that has come out from our feedbacks as well. And I think the welcome feeling over here in Tallinn and in Estonia is something what people really appreciate who come to visit and race in our races. Because of the COVID in the world, we have, uh, uh, we have put together a different plans to make sure that our athletes are safe. And it has been working well. We have two years of uh, experience now, and uh, our team is ready to handle such things. On top of that, on a bike course and run course and swim course, uh, we do have a good experienced guys. For example, in a swim course, we have over 100 lifeguards on water. And um, on top of that, let's say for, for a bike course, because of it's in, it's in Tallinn, the, we have uh, more than 500 race marshals on a course. And uh, that's all important because we, we do want to make sure that athletes who are coming here to really race their, their lifetime experience, they have to feel secured. And therefore, we offer a fully closed roads for bike and run. And, uh, and that's our main kind of focus if we talk about the race safety. Well, I, I, I do like to organize uh, events to make sure that uh, people will feel that uh, it's, it, it's great and it, it, it's done for athletes. And uh, our team is focused to organize the best event in the world. And you can see year by year how that gets better and better. So uh, it's just inspiration working with, together with young and motivated people. Well, the best motivation is actually our athletes. The smiles, what they have at the finish line, and the emotions, what you have when they finish and they, then they speak, what they felt in a race course. And that is actually something which motivates every day to work and, and, and work hard to make sure that they have a good experience. Volunteers are such an important part of one Ironman event. And the same goes here in Tallinn. We have more than 1,000 volunteers working almost two weeks to make sure that the event will, will happen and, and the experience what our athletes will get is the best possible what we can offer. There is no possible way to organize an event like this without any volunteers. If we take a volunteer and, and the, the work as volunteer work itself, I think it has grown together with the event in Tallinn year by year. We see now much more motivated people coming to volunteer in our races, not only from Estonia, but also from outside from Estonia, traveling from UK, from Russia, for, for Finland, just to be part of the event and to help out and to get the experience. So same way as our athletes will get life-changing experience doing an Ironman event, it same goes for our volunteers because they feel they're part of something and some experience and some emotions which will carry people for a long time. If we take Ironman Tallinn or Ironman event in itself, uh, 
Um, it's important to understand that volunteers are actually same way going through the process and taking something out from this event and from this process, which helps them to go further and, and, and live their life in a better way after the event. I think the, the best prize or, or the kind of um, award for our organization team and our volunteers is when the athlete is finished, she or he is smiling and is in a happiest place ever. And uh, if our team is feeling that and seeing that, then that, that is a reward and, and that's what we're after. So, so the best outcome is actually our happy finishers and, and that's why we do that. Athletes who finished Ironman Tallinn 2021 say are really an Ironman. It's not just a course, it's a nature what brought it really hard way to the finish line. So um, they are true Ironman and it will, it will be remembered for a long time. I'm, I think it's uh, not enough said, but um, I'm truly proud about the team we have and also the volunteers we have. And having these people, it's just a fraction of people we, we have in a race course and who are working for this event. But these people who made it to the finish line, who had the time and energy to come, it made really good feeling and, and emotions. It felt like uh, being a family, being part of the family who actually made something really incredible. And I'm really, truly proud to be part of it. Mm -hmm.